Toronto, NHL general executives met at Toronto for about five hours on Tuesday. Mostly discussed detailed discussions for Florida's meetings at Palm Beach on March 13-15. The NHL Hockey Operations Department showed new movements that could challenge GMS videos of nuances in the game and the interpretation of the rules in the future. This is a compelling product. Developing in 25, 30 years ago, you have players who do all kinds of things that we will not think of. We had some unique games that we could show them. Like a player who gathered a player in an attempt to shoot and carries them in a lactrose style and holds them under his shoulders. When is it legal? When did he come to the internet? A GM suggested to add a video review to see if a player pulled over the glass in the defense zone, which led to a delay of the game penalty. NHL Hockey Operations Senior Vice President Colin Campbell the idea occasionally emerged, but the right camera angle and consistent TV repetitions. He said, a GM suggested the loss of the penalty of a two-minute coach for the delay of the game, but it may be undesirable consequences. The purpose of the penalty is to ensure that coaches are only challenged in obvious situations and to reduce the number of difficulties. The GMs continued some widespread controversy, such as the definition of a different kick movement that determines whether a target was counted when a disc entered the network. Campbell. I said, this, Groundhog Day, times 10, he said, we have been dealing with this for 25 years. How we will appeal to a kick thrown disc? No problem until the second round of the Alberta War took place in the second round. There will be different views. Two million people in the north of two million people agreed with us and two million people have read. Dear he didn't agree with us. So how do we make this decision easier? Walcom said that GMs have passed the fine adjustments with positive effects. They saw a few examples in which the authorities called for a great punishment in a game. Then they cancelled the video with a video and an old referee in the status room in Toronto. It was a small change in these rules. But it worked. Wal Walcom said. He was good for the game. Nobody wants to see a player injured. And the references wanted to make sure they hadn't missed anything in the game. NHL has seen many players who understand the helmet rule better. Take the helmets. Return to the game instead of putting it again and leaving ice. If the disc is close and a game can be made, they use common sense to apply the rule. And when one player deliberately removed another player's helmet and called for a small punishment for being rude, all these small changes made over time contributed to a wonderful game. And we just want to keep it there. GMS looked at the goalkeepers who stole the network from the mooring. We said, is this a tendency? While the goalkeeper is under pressure, hitting the net. And if so, how do you want us to deal with it? Do you want us to give him a punishment? We said, Campbell said, they may ask us to give him a punishment until they come to them. Walcom said that NHL would follow the situation in which the season continues, and that GMs will look more closely in March when they decided to discuss issues, bring their thoughts to the main group and propose rule changes. Competition committee. Quote. Network. How does it come out? Walcom said, is it a higher frequency? Is it the result of how the castles play? Or does it have anything to do with technology in the latches? So we watch it to discuss it in March.